Hello YouTubers, um, this is a video um, about some bare bone applications for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, as you can see I've got four of them here. Um, what you have to do with the Pi Zero is to solder a few of these on the GPIO pins. Um, we've got here is uh, 5 volts, 0 volts, transmit data and receive data straight out of the serial link which is connected to GTK term as you can see there um, so basically we've got the serial cable going into the Pi and just a HDMI cable going into there. The Pi gets powered from the 5 volts USB as well. So if I connect that up, you should see it jumps to the display. Now this is a uh, VGA resolution color terminal for the Acorn Atom. Um, at the moment I've got it just coming out of GTK term running at uh, 115,000 bits per second 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bet. Here we have in Bluefish the C code if I can just get up to that so you've got all the different definitions for red, greens, blue, etc. Data for the font, so on and so forth. And basically you compile that, flash it onto the card. So if I go over to the terminal and type in H-E-L-L-R world you can see it coming out there so I'll just type something again as you can see it's just literally writing directly into the memory because this Raspberry Pi has got absolute, uh, absolutely nothing, it's a bare minimum. You power it on and power it off. Oh. There you go, power it off. Power back on. And there's no jumping into Linux, it just goes straight into the application there. These are about four pounds. Uh, you can order them from the Raspberry Pi Foundation or from Pimaroni. They are limited at the moment to one per person, one per customer, but um, I know somebody who has let me have a few. Um, now also, as you can see, when you power up the Pi, it sends some debug information to the terminal. And that's it, basically. The plan with this is to make um, little four-pound um, terminal emulators that will just run off either the USB serial connection or if it's connected to some old hardware um, where you've just got the um, RS-232 type signals and there is no 5 volts um, you can power it off the USB connector on the back of uh, whatever monitor you're using and I want to do uh, emulations of the 6845, 6847 in the Econ Atom the SA5050 Teletext chip the EGA, IBM EGA font, uh, IBM VGA font, um, various colour modes, um, maybe a few VT220s and so on. 
and the idea is to hook it up to this virtual telephone network CNET the collectors network where they've emulated the whole of the 1970s telephone network global telephone network using the infrastructure of the internet um, with gateways to modern telephones and using what they call ATA an analog telephone adapters you won't even need um, leased lines or anything to just have some old style 75 board 150 300 board modems hooked up running things like um, ICL mainframe emulators, Prestel service, ANSI bulletin board services, uh, CFAX services, um, all the old kind of um, terminal login things that you used to need least lines for it can all be emulated and uh, the terminal can also be emulated with this four pound bit of hardware thanks for watching uh, one quick addition that I forgot to mention earlier as you can see we've got this running here so if I type in H E L L O R there, it comes out over here. Oops, should be a smiley face. Um, this would normally kill a Raspberry Pi, but. If I take the SD card out, which is now, as you can see, it's still very good. And it still works. There you go. Stick the operating system or flash card back in.